was born here in New York, um, in the Bronx, born and raised um, by Dominican parents. So um, my parents um, are from the Dominican Republic. They migrated to this country for um, a better life and um, you know to hopefully start a family. Um, and I've always been, um, you know, having them, they've really influenced me um, because they've like passed on what their Dominican culture and customs and everything onto my brother and I. So I feel very identified and I consider myself a Dominican really. Um, you know, I'm a New Yorker, but <laughs> I, I consider myself Dominican. To be a Dominican, um, is to be a human being. Um, I I consider, you know, every country has their nationality. Being a Dominican doesn't mean, um, I feel, from history stuff that my family has talked to me about, that the founding fathers of the Dominican Republic would be appalled at, at this decision because um, it 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 cancels out, it annuls what the principle of the Dominican Republic is, you know. It's a, it's a new, it was, you know, discovered, but like anyone can be Dominican, anyone can be of any nationality. But I feel like the, the issue that's underlining it is race, it's racism. I think people are appalled. I've heard some conversations on the bus and, and train um, of people being um, really upset of this decision and it shouldn't be. So um, I think that the community, well some people in the community um, are, are against this decision. It shouldn't be happening. I just, I just hope that this that a change comes from this, and um, and we should we should learn from our mistakes, you know, um, and hopefully, you know, this would be overturned or rights can be given to to Dominicans that live there.